In our shop, when it comes time to assemble a project, most of us are gonna reach for something like one of these glues. Type Bond Original, Type Bond 2, or Type Bond 3, depending on the type of project that we're building. But there is another type of glue that I like to use very often in my shop, maybe more often than these, and that's hide glue. Now traditionally, hide glue is gonna come in pellet form like this. So it comes dried in little granules. They're kind of squishy, gelatin-like type granules. And to use this, what we do is we put it in a glue pot, we fill it up, and then we fill that with water. We let those gelatin uh, granules soak, and then once they've absorbed some of that water, we apply heat. So with this guy, I would just plug it in, and it would start to heat up that glue pot. Once that glue gets to a certain temperature, it's gonna become liquid, and then it's ready for use. And there are some instances that a hot high glue works extremely well, probably better than other types of glue, something like hammer veneering, for example. But you don't have to go through this process if you wanna use high glue. This is a liquid high glue by Tybon. You get a lot of the same benefits as a traditional hot high glue, but it is in a nice bottle and you can use it just like you would any of the other Tybon glues. There are some limitations to it though. It is water soluble, so you don't wanna use it in projects that's gonna get wet. So it's not good for outdoor furniture or for cutting boards. But that weakness can also be a strength. If you build a project with high glue and down the road you need to repair it, you can oftentimes take a joint apart by applying a little bit of water and some heat. Those two combined will help release that joint and then you can re-glue it. Unlike a PVA glue, where you might have to scrape all that glue off to get new glue to stick, high glue will stick to itself. So you're gonna simply apply more and glue it back together. Now, being water soluble, it also is extremely easy to clean up, which is another benefit that I really like. If you're gluing up a project and you get some squeeze out, you can attack it right away if you notice it, but if you come back and you notice that there is squeeze out after everything's dried, some hot water and a toothbrush will clean it up really nicely. Plus, any glue that's left on the surface doesn't leave a big white streak if you stain it like a PVA glue would. I know we've all had that where we go to stain a project and we notice a glue smear and the stain just won't take there. High glue usually won't do that. But there are some other ways that we can use high glue in our shop that isn't necessarily for assembly. So let me go ahead and clear off this bench and I'll show you a couple of those. So apart from being a great adhesive, Type Bond's liquid high glue can be used in other ways. One of the ways I like to use it is as a finish. And I don't mean just painting on glue as a finish. What I mean is you can use it to enhance the effect of paint. So what I do when I do this is I take a little bit of the liquid high glue and I will cut it with some hot water. Because this is water-based, it will mix up really nice. Um, it kind of gets like a uh, caramel apple type consistency and color. And this now works as a crackle finish. So what I do is I start with my piece that I'm painting and I will apply down a layer of paint. Uh, and we want it to be contrasting. So in this instance, I have a dark, kind of a dark navy or dark blue color. And I've let that dry and I've sanded back any of the nibs on it. And then I will come in with this hide glue and I will paint this on. And you can do this one of several different ways. You can either paint your entire part with the hide glue, or you can just paint the areas you want crackle. Because what's gonna happen is after this hide glue has had a chance to dry, I'll come back with a top coat of paint that's a contrasting color. Uh, for, so for something like this, I might do a white or a light yellow or something. And anywhere that that top coat is over top of the high glue, it's gonna create a crackle effect. And you'll see that top coat will start to crackle and you kind of can play with the effect of the crackle by adding more or less high glue in certain areas. You'll get bigger and smaller crackles. You can really selectively apply this in those areas. You know, I already mentioned about liquid high glue's ability to be reversed. Uh, and most of the time we don't plan on doing that. Um, but there are some instances where I want to plan on being able to reverse high glue. Uh, for instance, let's say I'm carving something. This is a great trick that I learned from Al Breed, who's a master carver. This is how he holds something like a small applique. 
So say I needed to carve this piece of pine into a flower and it's gonna get glued on a project. Something like this would be hard to hold and if I pinch it in my bench dogs, I run the risk of running one of my carving tools into this brass dog and damaging them. And we don't wanna do that. So the easiest way to hold onto this is to put it on a backer. We could probably do that with double-sided tape, but just when you start relying on tape, just like the Green Bay Packers, they let you down. So instead, what we can do is we can use craft paper. What we can do there is apply a couple pieces of craft paper. We'll glue those down with high glue, and then we'll also glue down this block. And what that will do is the extra fiber from this craft paper gives us some fibers that will help wick that moisture in. Because when I'm all done carving this, I'll come in and apply water around the outside of this, and it will seep underneath our piece and help release the glue. And if we need a little bit more persuasion, we can take this entire thing after it's been soaked in water, stick it in the microwave for a couple seconds, and that'll even help release it a little bit better. So I think you can see with a couple of these little tips, there's reasons I keep high glue in my shop, and there's reasons why I use it on most of my projects. I think you'll probably benefit from picking up a bottle of liquid high glue from Titebond and hiding it somewhere in your shop, but make sure you know where it's at. Mm -hmm.